All right, next tonight, making the ski hill more accessible. It's what a popular Western New York resort hopes to do with a very unique new piece of equipment. It's called a Tetra ski, and it's designed for people with complex physical injuries who want to just get out and ski and do so with some independence. The equipment works with traditional ski lifts, ensuring users an authentic experience. 7 News reporter Jordan Johnson went there today where she met a Western New York hero finally able to ski for the very first time. Angle and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, here we go. It gives me another avenue to do something, a different, a different outlet other than your standard nothing in the winter. James Whitaker is a U.S. Army veteran who was injured while on deployment in 2003. On Thursday, Hollymont's adaptive skiing program gave him a ride on the Tetra Ski, a sled-like ski rig that is controlled by James's hand. Here we go, brother. Having access to the adaptive equipment is very difficult. A, finding it, and then B, finding people with the expertise and knowledge to, to assist you it is very hard. Oh, buddy. Okay, now it's all you. There are only 27 Tetra skis in the world. Polymont has one, making this a rare opportunity for people living with disabilities. And say, hey, there is life after, you know, your injury. Creating a lifetime love for outdoor sports in an accessible way. Whether you can only sit or you can stand, you can now ski as well. Hard left looks like a walker for lack of a better term and it's got skis on the bottom of it and they can ski behind the walker and actually turn in it and go down the slopes. That was a better off. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. It's a good feeling for us and him. A Western New Yorker, it, it's winter is our, our season. We have two months of summer, basically, so finding summer sports isn't really the thing to do. From January until March, Hollymont's adaptive instructors have drop-in programs for those looking to give winter sports a try. For half a day, it's $150. A full day is $215. It's faster than I thought it was going to be. Jordan Johnson, 7 News, Ellicottville.